It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Listen. Nothing. For once, just for once, there is no sound of that sad man interrupting my program. I knew it wouldn't last. And if you watch this rubbish, your brains won't last either. Switch off. Mmm, pizza. Or actually, half a pizza. Who can make the other half? Snort again. <coughs> Two quarters make a half. Let's put in your quarters, Snorter. There we are. Now, pizzas have toppings, but fractions have toppings and bottomings. <laughs> if you double the topping, one becomes two. And you double the bottoming, two, becomes four. The fraction stays the same. Two quarters make a half. You can multiply by three, can't you, third bird? That's treble the topping and treble the bottoming. Let's put in your sixths. OK, thank you, third bird. In they go. And there we have it. Three sixths is the same as a half. <laughs> if you multiply the top of a fraction, don't forget to repeat the action. Do the same to the bottom as the top. If you multiply, don't be half-hearted. Finish off what you have started and do the same to the bottom as the top. Fractions do not have toppings and Bottomings. Fractions have... Numerators. And... Denominators. Thank you, as we just heard from... I'm Sarah McNicholas from Swansea. Charles Dar from Clacton. Fractions have numerators on the top and denominators on the bottom. Let's see you make some fractions that are exactly the same. Make all the fractions equal. Two fours are eight. The denominator's been multiplied by two. But to multiply the numerator by 2 as well makes 2. The numerator has been multiplied by 4. So multiply the denominator by the same number. 4 fours are 16. OK, try this. Denominator multiplied by 2. So multiply the numerator by the same. 6. 30 is 10 times 3. So the denominator's got to be 10 times 5. 50. All right. Multiply the numerator and the denominator. Do the same to the bottom as the top. Multiply the numerator and the denominator. Do the same to the bottom as the top. Do the same to the bottom as the top. Multiply the numerator and the denominator. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, and you never, never, ever have to stop. One million over two million. One million two millionths. Can we please try and keep things simple? I can make things simple. Oh, can you? One million over two million is just the same as one over two. It's a half. Oh, is it? Just to find the top by a million and the bottom by a million, one over two. Simple enough for you. What? Saved by that disgusting sad man. If you wanted half a pizza, would you be happy with six twelfths? Hmm. Thank you, Twelfth Elf. Well, as you'll see, they do actually make a half. If I put all of them in, 
There go our six twelfths. Now you can check this by dividing by the same number, or, or the same factor, as I like to call it. Divide the top by six, that makes one. And divide the bottom number by the same factor, that's 12 divided by six, two. <laughs> and you'll see that six twelfths equals one half. If you divide the top of a fraction, don't forget to repeat the action. Do the same to the bottom as the top. If you divide, don't be half-hearted. Finish off what you have started. Use the same factor on the bottom as the top. Oh, hello. I'd like an adult single to Manchester and five-tenths. Five-tenths? Yes. Oh. Yes, exactly. Tickets, please. Oh, an adult, please, and also 50 hundredths. Thank you. You do not issue those kind of tickets. 50 hundredths? It's the same as a half. I'd like an adult swim and also 5 million ten millionths. 5 million ten millionths? Yes. Uh, Five million ten millionths is the same as a half. Right, okay. I'll sort you that. Thank you very much. Can you find the common factor? The same factor dividing into top and bottom. Get ready for the test, because the test is ready for you. I'll go top numerators. I'll go bottom denominators. I can divide by four. Me too. Common factor four. Correct. I can divide by three. You got it. Common factor three. Three quarters. Correct. I can divide by ten. Go for it. Common factor ten. Can divide again. This time by five. Yes. Common factor five. Three quarters. Correct. Can divide by ten. You're running out of time. Wait, just do it in one go. Divide by twenty. Common factor twenty. A quarter. Yes. Yes. You've done it, and just in time. So you pass the test and get yourselves a maths card. Ooh, some sort of pizza. Take it away. Ooh. Can you find common factors? Have a listen to this. Sixteen over 24, 600 over 800. Find the common factors and simplify those fractions. And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> right, let's share all those tasty pizzas. Or not. 